in the remote heart of the American Midwest, where vast stretches of desolate landscape seemed to swallow the lonely roads whole, there stood a desolate highway that meandered through forgotten towns and abandoned fields. It was along this forsaken route that John Harper found himself on a moonless night, his car sputtering as the gas gauge hovered perilously close to empty. John had been driving for hours, the monotony of the road broken only by the occasional flicker of his headlights on the deserted asphalt. The radio, which had been his companion through countless miles, now emitted only static, further isolating him in the eerie silence that enveloped the night. The sense of unease had crept upon him gradually, like a shadow inching its way across the land. As the gas gauge needle inched towards the ominous E, John's anxiety grew, and he cast furtive glances at the barren surroundings. The miles between him and the last sign of civilization stretched like a foreboding abyss. Desperation etched, lines on his face as he spotted a dimly lit sign in the distance. Last chance gas, 10 miles, it read, the neon letters flickering intermittently. A spark of relief ignited within John as he accelerated towards the elusive promise of salvation. But as the miles wore on, the promised gas station remained elusive, like a mirage that danced just beyond reach. The landscape morphed into a haunting tableau the narrowed branches of skeletal trees reaching out like phantoms in the night. The road itself seemed to pulse with an otherworldly energy, casting eerie shadows that played tricks on John's fatigued mind. It was as if the very fabric of reality was unraveling, revealing glimpses of a world beyond the veil. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, the headlights caught a glimpse of a dilapidated gas station nestled at the edge of a desolate town. The flickering neon sign announced its presence last chance gas. It proclaimed, the letters dancing with an unsettling vibrancy. The air hung heavy with an otherworldly stillness as John pulled into the forecourt, the gravel crunching beneath his tires. The gas station appeared frozen in time, a relic from a bygone era. The pumps stood like sentinels, their rusted bodies creaking in the wind. John hesitated, the feeling of foreboding intensifying. As he approached the weathered door, a chill ran down his spine, and he hesitated before pushing it open. Inside, the air was thick with an unsettling silence. The overhead lights flickered sporadically, casting long shadows that seemed to dance in the corners. The shelves were lined with dusty, outdated products. Their labels faded and peeling. A bell above the door jingled softly, a haunting echo in the empty space. Hello, John called out, his voice swallowed by the oppressive stillness. No response. He cautiously moved towards the counter, where an ancient cash register sat like a relic of a forgotten era. The air seemed charged with an otherworldly energy, and an invisible weight pressed on his chest. As John scanned the empty store, a flicker of movement caught his eye. In the dimly lit corner, a figure materialized a spectral silhouette that seemed to waver between existence and the ethereal. The figure turned towards him, revealing hollow eyes that seemed to penetrate his very soul, seeking refuge. Traveler the ghostly voice whispered, its cadence sending shivers down John's spine. The figure extended a translucent hand towards the shelves, and an ethereal glow illuminated a dusty map. You're lost, but this is not the refuge you seek. The voice echoed, the words laden with a cryptic warning. The map revealed a route that twisted through the haunted landscapes, a path unknown to mortal eyes. Bewildered, John stumbled back, his heart pounding. The gas station, a transient waypoint between the living and the spectral realms, held secrets that defied the laws of the tangible world. The ghostly figure, a guardian of the ethereal crossroads, had offered a glimpse into the unseen. With a sense of urgency, John retraced his steps towards the cold night outside. The gas station, once a beacon of hope, now loomed like a spectral mirage. The spectral figure lingered in the doorway, its form flickering like a phantom in the shadows. As John returned to his car, the realization struck him. The gas station was not a sanctuary but a waypoint in a realm beyond understanding. The spectral guide had revealed a path through the haunted heart of the Midwest, a journey that transcended the boundaries of the living. With trepidation, John followed the ethereal map, the desolate road unfolding like a spectral tapestry. The landscape itself seemed to come alive with unseen forces, the very air humming with the resonance of the unknown. Shadows danced along the edges of his vision, and the road ahead blurred between reality and the spectral realm. As the miles passed, the spectral guide manifested at intervals guiding John through the haunted landscapes. The ethereal journey became a passage through forgotten towns and desolate fields, each step a communion with the spirits that lingered in the unseen corners of the world. The spectral guide spoke in riddles, revealing glimpses of the ethereal tapestry that bound the living and the dead. 
John's perception of reality shifted, and the boundaries between the tangible and the spectral blurred with each passing mile. The haunting beauty of the unknown unfolded like a ghostly ballet, and the desolation became a canvas for the unseen forces that pulsed beneath the surface. In the heart of the Midwest, where time seemed to stand still, John Harper embraced the spectral journey. The gas station, a fleeting waypoint in the ethereal pilgrimage, faded into the haunted landscape. The road stretched ahead, a ribbon of destiny that intertwined with the spectral echoes of the unseen. And so, under the watchful gaze of the ghostly guide, John Harper ventured into the heart of the unknown, a traveler between worlds, guided by the spectral map of the haunted Midwest. The gas station, a mere memory, lingered like a ghost in the rearview mirror as he embraced the enigmatic journey that beckoned from beyond the veil.